All right, we back. Marcy Sports Talk. Appreciate everybody for checking in. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, bell icon button. Check out Detroit Lions Talk playlist. And apparently Stafford came back at practice. He had a neck injury, but get to that in a minute. But um, but yeah, a uh, big V, um, Kenny Galladay, Nick Williams, or uh, Emerson Griffin are uh, was all out of practice today on Tuesday. And um, you know people talking about it's a critical week for Lions playing the Washington Football Team. Um. Let me just give y'all a news flash for those who still holding on hope. This is not a good football team. This is not a playoff football team. They lost every team in the division so far, so you're not going to win your division. The injuries don't matter. At this point, you just hoping it gets to the point where they lose so bad that they fire Patricia and Bob Quinn. That's just basically what you're hoping. You know, personally, I just go into tank mode and just bench Matthew Stafford, work with him to try to trade him in the offseason where he want to go. Or if you want to do the retirement thing, do the retirement thing at this point. I mean, we all know we want to see the Lions win, but we know this ain't the regime to do it. At least we know that we got new ownership, and hopefully Sheila can pull the trigger and fire Matt Patricia and Bob Quinn where everybody be happy in a satisfactory time. But it don't matter. You bring Griffin here, you automatically get injured. You bring Galilee back, he get injured again. It's to the point where, you know, you just got to rebuild. You know, I'm not worried about the bad contracts because you, you're going to build in Detroit through the draft. To attract free agents to come to Detroit, a couple things going to have to happen, top free agents. Ownership is going to have to be better, have to pay guys before they ask for their money, treat guys good, treat their veterans good, got a coaching staff that's going to be player friendly. Second, you got to be able to, for the ownership, got to be able to pay pay these guys. But also, you got to get the right people in here. You know, you got to draft right. Once you draft and build the right way, look at the... Jacksonville Jaguars, they was able to get Calais Campbell, Malik Jackson, A.J. Boye. The only mistake was, you know, picking Blake Boyle to be the quarterback. And that seemed to be a fatal mistake for that franchise ambitious to win championships. The Lions just got to draft good. You know what I'm saying? That's it. Once you draft good, then the free agents want to come here, take a pay cut, and they want to be a part of a winning organization. But with all these injuries, it don't matter. It wasn't like we was in the thick or the banana pudding thick of the playoff race. It's just time to rebuild. They made a mistake by not drafting a quarterback this year. Um, they made a mistake by letting Bob Quinn stay one more year, to be honest. And Matt Patricia, they didn't draft well. They didn't do well. You can just tell. The players that that Bob Quinn drafted, they're not the guys that Patricia won. You know what I'm saying? Because if he wanted to buy, he would have been able. He'd been playing right already. He didn't want Patrick, I mean, uh, Jeff Okuda. He ain't been playing. You can tell Julian Okoro, come on. That ain't somebody that Matt Patricia wanted. You can tell there's a disconnect between the general manager and the head coach because the head coach is not able to develop the players that the general manager is providing because he never wanted them. So it's easy you can tell that's the case, but Matthew Stafford listed with a neck injury. He was full practice today, unfortunately. They should just shut him down, tell him to go home and roll with Blog and, um, and Chase Daniels and get somebody else, man. At this point, you just need to be bad and lose football games. He was in position last year to get – a really, really good quarterback, either Herbert or um, or uh, Tua, or you could have moved up. You didn't do that, you know. You, you drafted a, a rookie class that was terrible, Okuda terrible right now. Swift, he ain't really playing, but he might be the best in him and uh, the guy from Ohio State, Jonah Jackson. But everybody else has just been underperforming and underwhelming. And this was a year that Stafford was supposed to get over the hump and at least get a playoff win. Y'all didn't provide the structure or the players for him to do that. So they should have shut down Stafford. You know, let him figure out his future. If you want to still play, we can move you wherever you want to go. Um, but he shouldn't be playing no more. Even though he responsible for the last two weeks' losses. But I think that they excuse when they go out, Patricia and Bob Quinn is going to be, they was forced to keep Matthew Stafford, and that's why they didn't succeed in Detroit. But other than that, they drafted and it's been atrocious. I can draft better than them. I think some people that play Madden all day could draft better than them. But um, he back. Give them a chance to win versus the football team. They lost their quarterback, Kyle Allen, to an ankle injury. I think it was a dislocated ankle. Alex Smith will be starting. They lost to the Giants yesterday. I mean, Sunday. So, we'll see what happens. But uh, let me know what you guys think. Don't forget, we're on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Reach out if you have a business question, inquiry, response, or video request. All my social media links in the description. Twitter's the fast way in Facebook and Instagram. Want to make a donation? Best way to do that is share the video. Hit the subscribe button, bell icon button. Um, don't forget to check my other channels, Goodfellas Sports TV and Goodfellas Sports TV 2.0 right here on YouTube. But if you want to make a financial donation, cash app CJGood313. That's in the description. PayPal link there as well, too. Appreciate the love and support. We got.